Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute of Designing and this is Six and Sunny. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to create a profile for a roof in architectural visualization using curves. So this is curve modeling and this is very helpful in creating different kind of profiles in architectural visualization using curves. So in order to do that I am just opening one of the files which is having a roof already done. So this is the roof I have created in Blender. Now I'll just create a profile along this this path. So I have to have a path around this as well as a profile to create that. So how do we do that uh, in Blender? So just go to the top position and then create a profile which will go around this. The, the kind of profile which you want. So when you go into preferences and then what you do is like add this add curve extra see a x t r a add curve extra objects this add-on is activated if you don't have this activated if you just go into curves and you can see only these many options but if you have this preferences and then if you have this activated now what you see is like you have a lot of options so in this option uh, I'm going to use this point which is a starting point you have a single vertex point from where you can start the modeling so what I'm going to do is like I just add a point into this the point is here it is a 2d so I'm just grabbing it to this position so here is where I'm going to create this this point right click and then set origin to geometry to make sure that the origin is here and then go into the edit mode select this and then start extruding just positioning it in this position I think it's slightly big uh, I'll just position it in, in here G, Y and then snap extrude it in Y direction extrude it in X direction extrude it in Y direction extrude it in X direction I'm having two cuttings now I'll just extrude once again in a slanting position and then extrude it in y direction once again uh, extrude it in x direction slightly extrude it in y direction extrude it in uh, x direction extrude in y direction extrude in x direction and then uh, grab it in x direction and then snap it you have this point and then select the first point and the last point and click on F2 have this so it is still a curve now what to do is like uh, you have a profile here now you need a path in order to do that you just go into add again a curve and then a point and then grab it to this position you have it to the starting point now uh, click on E and then go to the edit mode select this vertex once again and then just start extruding and then snapping it uh, to positions just snap it 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 and then snap it so you have this uh, now what it was like just select that curve and then go into the profile uh, of this and then coming into this profile this be well in the geometry option in the curves tab you go to the geometry and then click on this object so you have the profile but only thing is like it is in the opposite direction so how do you correct it that is the next thing what I do is like you just come into this select this and then uh, go to the edit mode select the whole thing and then rotate in um, y direction and 180 so now what happened is like you can see that the profile is created in the right way okay 
now there is one correction here this is not joined so in order to do that select this just grab one vertex and then grab it here select these two and then click F. so now you have the joined vertex here so this is how the profile is created and if you want to adjust the size of these what you do is like you just come here and uh, if you go to the edit mode and then uh, select one of these vertexes just like that and then you can see that if I grab it in X direction just like that it start modifying so only thing you have to do is like just have to uh, select one of these if you want to remove some of the options uh, some of the vertexes unwanted vertices just select that and then delete select and delete vertices select this vertices and delete it uh, I feel this is quite okay G and X direction just snap it G move it and uh, make it straight in Y just like that you have a better profile you can see that the profile is ready now so this is how you make the profile in uh, Blender just click on save and this is how it is hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial kindly subscribe our channel and click on the notification link to get the notifications of our next video thank you